Everything is ready. Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the next part of Let's Play Terraria! In this episode, we're going to be doing the two invasions. One old, the pirates are approaching from the west just because they have one new thing. Frost Legion do not have anything new. Neither does the Pumpkin Moon, neither does the Frost Moon. Pirate Army does. And then you might notice I'm on server with Midnight here because the other invasion. You can't spawn it. There is no spawning item whatsoever. So we gotta go find the probe and they're rare as shit. So at least if we have two people looking for it, we might find it a little bit faster. Well, there you go. Pirate Army, if you would like to please show up. And if I would like to please minimize the recorder so that you cannot see that. And we can begin. I just realized, can uh, There you go. You can, yes, Midnight. You can type because... I didn't even think about this, but I didn't even think that um, Camtasia is not set up correctly to record Skype's audio, so you'd only hear me, you wouldn't hear Midnight. But that's okay, because it's just a pirate army. We're just literally going to be rolling our thing back and forth here. Midnight can talk. Oh, really? The blood moon's rising. Of course it is. But yeah, Midnight can just type because, like, this is all the pirate army is. The pirate army is not going to do anything... And the only reason why the Pirate Army exists right now is to show off the, the new boss of the Pirate Army. This should show up when we hit about 25-30%. Midnight, please take off all your balls so that they do not kill the pirate ship, as I would like to show the pirate ship on camera. And those balls may kill them instantly. Might want to switch off that Lunar Portal as well, hon. So we'll just roll back and forth. Roll back and forth. Have we got, have we got a ship yet, please? Also, like, yeah, just, like, stay near me, so at least the pirate ship will try and fly towards me or you, like, in this central area here. Please. Pirate ship. Don't do me dirty, pirate ship. Don't do me dirty, pirate boss. Pirate boss, don't do me dirty. Don't not appear. We're already at 50%. This is, uh, this is scary. Take out that gunner for me, Midnight. Shooting at me. Shit, I'm about to die. There we go. Oh, one drop from the sky. Is there a... Don't shoot anymore. Don't shoot any more of those balls. Is there a pirate ship over there? Like, one drop from the sky. Why am I taking damage? Someone's shooting at me. There you go. So there's the boss over there. So this is the pirate ship over here. The pirate ship is a non-issue. All you got to do is take out all four cannons and then the thing explodes and then it dies. And that's it. That's all there was to the pirate invasion. That's the only new thing about any of the maps, as I say. Frost Legion does not have anything new. Pumpkin Moon does not have anything new. I mean, the Solar Eclipse has Mothra, but I ain't gonna activate a Solar Eclipse for one enemy. Especially because, good god, the Solar Eclipse is, like, so damn annoying now. It's not hard, it's just, like, it's just really, really annoying. But there you go, the pirates have been defeated, so we're just gonna wipe out the rest of these down here, and then we're just gonna go... Loot run! All the coins, all the monies, all the golden artifacts. Do not shoot me when we're on a loot run, pirate lady. And we will be back. We're going to pause it. And we will be back once we found a Martian probe because they are really damn rare. So, see everybody in a moment. Resume. Holy shit, people. One... It was more than that. What was it, Midnight? Like, two hours? Two and a half hours? And then I figured out that I could make a space station because I looked it up on the internet. And apparently this space station works, so... Let, let's just do the Martian invasion because... Jesus! That was a pain in the ass. I should have looked it up from, like, day one or from, like, hour one to figure out the space station. But, guys, like, I I'll take you back to the space station momentarily after we've we've done the Martian invasion just to show you how to make that shit. Do, don't ever look for a probe by yourself. You'll never find one. Like I only found one because of the uh because of that space station that someone on YouTube told me to make. In fact who was the man? Who was the man? Let's get out of here, you dick. Right, who was it? Was it YouTube? How to summon the Martian invasion with a space station. Vilvien. 
if that's how you spell it, or villain, is it supposed to be villain with the two letters swapped around? Well, this guy, check out this guy, he's a cool dude, because he, he showed me the secret about Lazardian blocks and how to make the probe spawn, so there you go. Right, let's kill the Martian invasion. So the Martian invasion, as you can see, just has, it's much like the pirate invasion, it just has a little, a load of little dudes running around on the ground, one flying enemy. It's the actual boss that we're focusing on though, because the boss is the guy that drops all of the good stuff. Because as you can see down there, like where my yo-yo is right now, there's some Martian plating which can be used to build stuff. And I think, uh, like, the, the guys that ride the aliens, wherever they are, apparently none of them want to show up for the purposes of this demonstration. But wherever they are, they drop a brain scrambler, so it looks like we won't be getting one of them. But it's, it's the mothership that you're after, because you'll be able to get, like, that UFO flying mount that I've been using. You'll be able to get a lot of stuff. I should stop, like, walking back this way, because people are getting on top. And surprisingly, we're 48% of the way... Through the invasion here, coming up to 50%. Ah, there it is, there it is. So this is the mothership. So it fires a lot of lasers. Where's it gone? And then it'll, like, um, do that death ray. And when you've taken out all the cannons, it'll start doing the bullshit death ray. This is where it'll fly in front of you, so you've got to reverse your polarity really quickly. Because that death ray does a lot of damage. As you can see, if you just reverse your polarity when it goes in front of you... Fairly easy, we're gonna get a Xeno Popper right there. Get off my little island, you dicks. So, uh, yeah, that's a Xeno Popper, and that's it, that's the Martian invasion. It's all done, it's all good. We could end it right now. Oh, here comes another mothership. So, back in our UFO, and we're gonna whoop, get away from its laser cannons. And while it's trying to figure out where we are, we are going to not get hit by the death beam. Ah, oh, we got hit by the death beam. That's alright, we just gotta not get hit by the death beam again, which is simple. Again, you just reverse your polarity, every time it flies in front of you, reverse your polarity. Nice, quick, simple, easy. And then we're just gonna get rid of all these guys. Oh, hello, hi, hello! Second mothership, oh, well, there you go, we died. That was, uh, <laughs> that was a little bit faster than I expected. We're at seven minutes, so you know what? Just for recording's sake, I don't want this to crash, because goddamn fine, another one. We're going to stop it, and then I'm going to reload right where we are. One second. All right, and we are back with a new seven minutes on the clock. Although it won't take seven minutes, because we're already 74% of the way through. So let's do this. So, oh, shit, well, it didn't give me two seconds to spawn, mothership. Already here, give me a second to spawn back into the world, mothership. You didn't even give me, like, a minute there. Let me heal before the mothership gets pissed off. So, again, very easy, just reverse the polarity every time. She reverses polarity, we reverse polarity. What is dropping? There is a charger. Oh, my God, another one. Another mothership! Two! Two motherships! I need two motherships! Alright, let's get rid of the, the cannons. The death ray is now active, so we just gotta run away from it and re keep reversing the polarity every single time. And the mothership is down. We get another chargey thing, whatever that is. And a, a third! A third mothership! Three! I need three motherships! Three of them! Okay, mothership. I don't mean to be funny now, but we have we have seen your shenanigans. Please, just uh, just be no more, because that would be great news for us. I would like to have this done. Explodey, and you're gonna drop. Oh, you're gonna drop that thing. That thing's cool. All right, that's ninety percent of the way through the Martian invasion. Is is that a fucking another one? That's another one because that's rockets. Oh my god, a, a fourth mothership. Four. I need four motherships. Four motherships. Oh, well, there you go. She killed me. That is like... Damn it. I will also say, guys, they normally don't spawn that often. Like, most of the time, 90% of the time, you only see one, maybe two... A fifth! A fifth mothership! Oh, my word! Oh my word! Normally you only see like two per invasion. That's it. 
And like, if you die to one, it usually never comes back. But we are, we have got five motherships in, in this, in this invasion here. This is like extremely lucky. And I know I've died a few times to the motherships because honestly, I wasn't expecting this many to show up. That is very amazing. But holy shit, if you could survive, if, if you were preemptive to this, like if you knew beforehand, like, oh, there's going to be like five motherships. You could grind those mother- A sixth! A sixth mothership! What is going on? Has this changed? Has there been like a secret hidden update where they've just like made a million motherships? I have never seen this many motherships. I have never seen this many motherships. You could grind some at fierce on these if you'd survived all of them. Oh, watch out. And the Martians have been defeated. So what have we got? We got a Xeno... Po I, I, another one! No, no, excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me! A seventh! A seventh mothership! A seventh! There is a seventh mothership! I didn't even... Oh my god. Please, motherships! All the motherships need to... Need to be... Need to be no more! Okay, well, you didn't even fire a beam there. Can we please just, like, no more motherships? We, do I think the viewers get the mothership? The mothershipedness. Can we can we now end the mothershipedness? Okay, right. Let's just kill these people before any more mothership show. Okay, there we go. The Martians have been completely defeated. There is no need for any more mothership bullshit. Okay, good, 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 good. You get out of here, please. No more mothership shenanigans. No more Martian ship shenanigans. Apparently one of those motherships also dropped an antimatter grappling hook. So, in terms of our things, we have a charge mega buster. We have a mega buster, which takes magic, does it? Yeah, charger mega buster takes magic damage. But there you go, that's, that's what it does. I don't know how far... Oh, and if you charge it long enough, it drops a beam. I've never really used that. Then you've got the Gatlin laser, which is also magic, so we're going to have to wait for our magic to recharge. Then you've got Xeno Popper, which we don't have any bullets for, so there's that. And then we add this anti matter gravity hook, where we can be like, wait there, where we can be like, whoop, and we can, can kind of, hold on a minute, I've never really used this, but as you can see, we can kind of like control the anti matter grappling hook here and our magic is recharged so first of all let's switch back to the lunar hook and then let's get this uh, what's this eye patch where the hell did I pick up an eye patch from let's get up the laser machine gun and this is how the laser machine gun works why does this use magic this would be so cool if it didn't use magic Although, I suppose if that was the case, people would say, yeah, but that'd be incredibly broken if you could just, like, do this forever. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, but... Maybe not. So, right, what's our time now? Because of so many motherships. Five minutes. We've got time to go over to our, our thing. And you know what? It didn't work, help because I didn't have my spore sack on. Because I was trying to make Martian probe spawn and... The spores fly towards the probe, and if the probe gets destroyed, then you gotta go find another one. And that's why you build a, that's why you build that space station that can rig it so they always spawn there quite frequently. So instead, let's go over here. And I know I'm still on Skype, so I'll have to boost the audio. Remember that, Spyro. Past Spyro, future Spyro in editing. Make sure you boost the audio. Don't worry, I will. So, if we fly over here, we'll end the episode over here for the next episode. Because, oh boy, aren't we going to have fun on the next episode? We'll pick up a flying star. It's a, fl it's a falling star. And another falling star. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Go, go, fly, fly faster. UFO, why don't you fly faster? I need warp speed too! What? Hey, that shit was out before Family Guy. Family Guy stole that because Family Guy steals all that shit. I, 
All right, here we are. So in the next episode, we'll see what these uh, these beautiful hooded gentlemen are worshipping and what this mysterious tablet is. But thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like if you're enjoying the series and can't wait to see the lunar stuff, which is right there now. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see all of you in the next one.